Konnichiwa! I've been learning Japanese on my own for three years and today I'm going to tell you tools you've never heard of before that are vital to learning a foreign language well. And it won't cost you much at all. I'm Shannon Germain and this is Nick's the Norm! <laughs> button that says subscribe just below me, just click it. It costs you nothing, but it makes YouTube promote my videos more. So thank you for doing it right now. Now on with the show. The first time I went to Hawaii, I knew I wanted to live there one day. And one way to get a good job there is to learn Japanese because there are a lot of Japanese tourists. My local schools don't offer Japanese, and even though I go to an accredited online school, even they don't have a curriculum to offer me. So I got a fast education on ways to learn Japanese that you may not know about, and what I learned can apply to any language. First, I use Rosetta Stone. I know, I know, you've heard about it, and you might know already that it's expensive. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is to go straight to your library and get a library card. Many counties, including mine, offer Rosetta Stone for free and you don't have to do it on their computer. You can do it right at home. So tip number one, get to your library now. Next, get ready to do some clicking. I use lots of apps to supplement my learning and most of them are free as well. For myself, I use Memrise and also Duolingo. I love these apps, and while I have found they won't get me to fluent as quickly as I like, I think they are a great addition to my curriculum and I can use them on my iPad or iPhone anywhere I go. Now the next tip I'm going to tell you about is absolutely crucial. You need to talk to someone who is fluent in whatever language you are learning. That's where I use Verbling.com. I absolutely love this. I can meet face to face with the tutor online and it doesn't cost nearly what it would if our meeting were in person. Seriously, my mom priced an hour long tutor session in our area and the cheapest she could find was $80 an hour. On Verbling, I found a native speaker who will teach me for just 14 bucks an hour. It's so fun and really important when you want to actually become fluent. Finally, find yourself some great books. For learning Japanese especially, or any language that has a different writing system than what you grew up with, you need to have some really great books and workbooks to practice. Because you don't want to just learn how to speak it, you need to know how to read and write your language. For Japanese, Chinese, or any other languages based in Asia, I highly recommend checking out Title Publishing's books. I'll put links to my favorite books below in the description. I know I said I tell you free or cheap ways to learn a language, so let me point you straight to your library again. For the things like workbooks, I found I really need to have the actual book on hand. And that's why at Christmas or on my birthday, I've always got some Tuttle books on my list. So that's how I've been learning Japanese for three years and plan to continue until I can boast that I'm fluent. I hope this helps you learn the language of your choice and that you'll like my video and please, please subscribe. Thank you.